The judge case work item is allocated to a magistrate on a random basis. Hi, my name is Andreas Hense and this video is part of a series on resource patterns in YAWL. Today we talk about random allocation. The ability to allocate work items to a selected resource chosen from a group of eligible resources on a random basis. You can see the behavior in the following flash animation. So, very simple workflow is just one task called judge case and we start the animation and the first allocation, it's a random allocation um, in the first case is going to Alicia. Alicia starts the work item and then completes it. So the first case is finished, now it's the second case, it's again randomly allocated to Nathan and Nathan starts and completes the work item and then in the next case it's again randomly allocated to Alicia and she completes it and so on and so forth and actually I have the impression that even this flash animation is really using a random generator because it doesn't repeat really. In YAWL we can implement this by using the random choice allocation strategy. Okay, five windows. Uh, the admin work list here, we have already one case started and um, the first work item is allocated to Alicia. So. Um, we have um, at the bottom we have Sean Alicia so Alicia has one work item already and Nathan and um, the workflow is on the top right so what we will do now is we will go to the admin case management and we just start 15 cases so we have already one so two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And now we go to the admin work list and we refresh the work use of the participants. And so now we have refreshed the work use and we can see that Sean has um, a number of work items. So six work items here, six work items for Alicia and three work items for Nathan and if we see the case IDs here we can see that they are distributed fairly randomly. Thank you for watching.